Many years ago in South Sudan, BBC Media Action created a village of hope where families could easily access healthcare, people understood their rights and responsibilities, and conflict could be resolved peacefully. Welcome to Life in Lulu. Life in Lulu drama series is an ever evolving and context adapting. Um, it depicts a fictional village that represents a real village full of diversity. Diversity in culture, age category, different gender, disability, government and authority, religious and community leaders, competition for, seri uh, for resources and conflict resolution mechanisms. So the approach that Life in Lulu uses is it uses the power of media to communicate, to inform, and to engage the communities in their languages. Now to achieve this, we work with a network of radio stations and we strengthen their capacity to enable them acquire international journalistic skills and also we help them to produce programs that are gender sensitive and institutional strengthening for their sustainability. Life in Lulu is broadcast in six languages on 28 partner radio stations across the country. The radio drama reaches over 1.8 million people through radio and more than 38,000 people through community listening groups. Our storylines are based on research about audiences' understanding and attitudes. Over 10 years, Life in Lulu has tackled urgent and sensitive issues like conflict within the home and wider community, sexual reproductive health and rights, gender-based violence, and environmental management. We use creativity and the power of drama to tackle such difficult issues. When we are beginning fresh, when we are starting live in Lulu, uh, a drama, it was a little bit uh, really difficult actually. So what we, we did, we had to sit down as a, a team when we were coming up with the characters. We thought of uh, characters from different, different um, tribes in South Sudan, particularly communities. Some of our characters have been with us from the beginning. Today, Faida is Lulu's elected chief, but she began on the program as a wife and mother. What I've learned from the show that it is not difficult to change attitude, behaviors, and beliefs of other communities and maybe people if you're using the right tools, like what we have been doing. We know that BBC changed uh, behaviors of people using this, using communication. And for us in life, in BBC, we use uh, radio, and definitely in life, in we are using drama. Majak is the show's antagonist. He's impulsive and quick to anger. In everything that you are doing, there must be a time where you will change at least to something else. Uh, with what Majak is doing actually, sometimes even Majak will realize uh, what, such thing that Majak is doing is not good. And when you do such thing, the effect is this and that. That's why Majak, when you looked at the character of Majak in the community in uh, Hayafilulu, Majak end up even confused on what to do. Our research tells us that life in Lulu changes perceptions, our audience relates to the characters and their problems, and the program depicts the village they want, not the village they have. We dramatize solutions and community decision making, which can be replicated in real life. The feedback from the audiences is that this role modeling is working. Tamata in Sudan, which a man of Telif, Yan, Fumasha Halad Kitir, Fumahalad and Nadia, and Nakina Nashil to Inu, Halal Muskila, and a shelter bus from Halle and Halbut and Muskila and Lulu, I have a Lulu, the Tabu. I have a Lulu, Temsilia, I have a Lulu Gijero, Mokchama Betanata, Juluba Sudan. Lano Hajata Lukulu fi temsilieta haya fi lulu de hajata laga yasel fi mochama betanna. Haja lja ajibana shidit, elika nja hamil, ya nobi gader sibu medereza. Lakina paeshe jo, galimata sibu medereza. 
لانه مدرسه او يا بسايدتا في المستقبل تكي وفعلا ده كان حاجه السيبو الي لا دي كلاس مدرسه تتو لا كان يجي جوزو ما فيكتور لايف ان لولو هاز تشينج لايفز اند جيفز هوب فور ا مور بيسفول فيوتشر ان ساوث سودان